video in the world of Naboo. It's where the Naboo is set up for now. It's got its own little table. It used to be my shipping table, but now it's Naboo's table. Oh, I'm sporting the Adam Khan 1 shirt. And I got a belly. Anyways, <laughs> I just wanted to show you what I ordered and what I got for the Naboo. And I wanted to give you guys a little bit more of an update on what's going on with the Naboo. I know you may have seen other people posting videos where they are using systems to transfer software over into the Naboo, like the old system that originally was designed did, which is all great. That's, that's a great thing. And that's something that I plan on doing with the Naboo. What I plan on doing with the Naboo is making the Naboo a new place to live, you know. You know like after the Empire came and destroyed Naboo, what well, did they destroy Naboo? You know you never heard of Naboo, except in the, the prequels where Jar Jar Binks, Jar Jar Binks came from Naboo, right? Yeah, you never heard of it. But, I'm going to do something different than the Naboo. I've got some more stuff coming in and I need to make an adapter. Because inside of this it has a 4K ROM, it can hold up to an 8K ROM. Technically I guess it can hold more, but the pins are wrong. But I'm making an adapter so I can put a 32K ROM in there. Why am I putting a 32K ROM in there? Because that's what I'm set up to burn with my EPROM burner. So I'm going to give the Naboo a new OS. I've been making play some games. You know. But what I got here is an adapter for the Naboo. Why? Why not? Um, somebody posted, well, Hackaday. Hackaday did a story. And everybody is jumping on this thing like it's viral. Oh my god, the Naboo, we never heard of it before. And the poor guy in Massachusetts, he had his... He had his um, eBay listing taken down because he had, I think it was 500 orders, and eBay said, wait a minute, you better fulfill these. And, and probably, I would not be surprised, because I've worked with eBay before a lot, if he's new at eBay, eBay said, you better fulfill these, and, and by the way, you can't have the shipping charges that we charge until you ship them out. So he's probably in his pocket pulling money out of the ship. But anyways, they're not available online, but I read it. On Hackaday, they did a story on this one. They did like two paragraphs, which Hackaday does all the time. Um, you know, just jumping on flavor of the week. And somebody mentioned, you know, there's a surplus place in Nebraska that's selling the Naboo adapters as project enclosure boxes. And I read that the same day I was posting. I said, really? So I did a quick Google search and found it. Went on the, the website, which was, it looks like it was written back in late 90s. Did a search for Naboo, found it, and the other reason why I say it's late night is because they use authorized.net and payflow link, which is old, I mean, early 2000s. Anyways, um, and they don't even have shipping, the shipping company, they call you up and say, you want to ship it? I searched for Naboo on there and I found it, and they have it there. $15.95 a piece plus shipping for the adapters that go in there. So I ordered two, because at first I was going to send one to the guy who purchased it for me. But he said he didn't want it. So I'm good. I got an extra. And then later on, I went on there. Somebody said, how much does it cost to ship? And I found out the shipping later. So it's $15.95 or it's $31 something for the two of them. And then they call back later for shipping. And shipping was $46. Bucks. And so overall, I paid $77 for two adapters. I only need one, but I used two. Um, that was a little dirty. Um, but I went on later on, and what was fifteen ninety five earlier in the day it was now twenty five dollars. So they must have had a run on them too. And they're, they're like, raise the price! <laughs> oh my God, we go viral! So I got the Naboo adapters here. Um, I'm gonna open up the one that has a little water damage on the box. This one looks nice, but this one has a little water damage. I just had a curiosity. I want to find out if there's anything wrong inside. Shouldn't be. It's got a little, see you can see rusty right here. Ow. Ah, it scratched me with a nice rusty piece. I'm probably going to need 10 minutes. So what, what does the adapter look like? Besides the fact that it looks just like everything else. Oh, yeah, the box is a little wet. So inside it's got a spacer. And connector cable. Bye. You go over there. And then inside of here, we got the adapter. And two pieces of Oh, uh, sorry, I'm turning my back to you here. Make a lot of noise. Let's see what the Naboo has in it. 
Where's the opening at? Oh, it's still wrapped. It's sealed, okay. So we're gonna tear it. Oh no, there's tape, that was tape. I found it. All right, so, I'm kind of fascinated that they put two of them in here. Instead of putting everything in one box, in one case, you have a second adapter. Now this one is kind of fascinating. Power, cable, link, and message. I guess that blinks and you got mail. On the back, cable in, cable out, and to the computer. So let's see what she does. I'm going to hook it up real quick and we'll see what it does here. I'll fast forward to this. It's the circle of life. Anyways, it looks like this goes here. All right. This is your connector for adapter to computer. I just realized not a single stitch of paperwork came with this. No manuals, no books, no nothing. Just a box. You got cable in and cable out. I don't know if these are supposed to be all together or not. I'm assuming that's just for transferring the cable. I'm not worried about cable right now because I'm not using it. So we'll just set that to the side. Put this over here. The adapter doesn't have a power supply on or power switch on it. So I assume it stays on all the time. Plug it into the power strip down here. Turn the power strip on. Somebody got power up here. Who got power? Oh, they all got power. What are you calling? Huh? Oh. Except you, you don't have power. So there we go. Let's see what the Naboo does now. Now that it's been given a brain. Please type in channel code. Oh, isn't that good? Um. No. Anyways, that's what it does. No clue. But it, it, at least it doesn't say adapter failure. Now it just says type in a channel code. I do like the setup on it. Looks like you should have a cassette deck in here. Like a stereo kind of thing. Now what code do you want? She's typing channel code 22FD. Oh, really? Oh, I bet you're doing that on your remote. I don't know. Retype it. I did. All right. I don't know what it wants me to do. I want to play some Doom. Come on. Anyways, that's the Naboo adapter. So Naboo has now doubled. Well, triple because I got that one over there. Have a good one.